So today marks a highly significant anniversary for Korea and Japan, marking the 50th year of the normalization of their diplomatic relations. Our Hwang Sang Yi takes us through the key points of the past 50 years and shows us where the two nations currently stand. On June 22, 1965, Korea and Japan agreed to begin a new chapter in their relations, leaving behind decades of unfortunate history. The normalization of their diplomatic relations, a result of 14 years of lengthy negotiations, secured economic aid for Korea and post-war settlement for Japan. The Korea-Japan Treaty officially came into effect at 5 p.m. on June 22, leaving behind the unfortunate Korea-Japan relations of the past and paving the way for a grand new history. With the financial help of Japan, Korea rose from the ashes of war and underwent major growth. Half a century later, the two neighbors are the closest of economic partners, with bilateral trade volume jumping nearly 400-fold. But unresolved issues remain. In their treaty, Seoul and Tokyo had failed to address Japan's wartime sexual enslavement of hundreds and thousands of Korean women. The issue came to light in 1991 with the testimony of one of the victims and is now the biggest point of contention between the two neighbors. Seoul is demanding a sincere apology and compensation from the Japanese government, while Tokyo claims that the issue was resolved by a 1995 landmark apology issued by then Prime Minister Tomichi Murayama. While the top diplomats from the two countries failed to reach a deal on the comfort women issue during their meeting on Sunday, they did make some progress on other matters. We held a cordial, honest and constructive three-hour discussion on issues of mutual interest. Seoul's foreign ministry said the two sides agreed to smoothly resolve the issue of Japan's UNESCO bid, hinting that Tokyo is willing to clearly state the historical background of its wartime industrial facilities as sites of forced labor for nearly 60,000 Koreans. But whether that's enough for the two neighbors to fully break the ice remains to be seen. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.